Locked! And there's no way to enter a code or anything. Discreet and versatile. Strange nubs. I know I'm not supposed to pull levers where I don't know what they do, but... Ah, now I remember why I didn't want to do that anymore. Pretty handy when you can just take one of these things off again. I like my leisure suit much better. I'm not touching that. I like beavers. They don't look like they've been used, but I'll play it safe. I can't take those with me. Why is it called a ball gag? I mean, it's not even funny. I wouldn't fit into that, hopefully. Okay, what should I dial? That unlocked the safe. What a blowhard. Not right at the moment, more in general. I'm curious to see what's in Swingle's file. Look at this, Pi. This must be the file Swingle was talking about. Ah, it's kind of sticky. Only touch it with your fingertips. I don't want to even think about the diseases you could catch from that. Let me scan it for you instead. I'll put it all in my database so I can give you the information whenever you need it. Just don't hold me too close. Ew. Okay. There. I got it all. What exactly is in the file? Swingle has been very busy indeed. These are copies of historical documents from the crew that discovered the archipelago. Diary entries and letters, the captain's logbook, some pretty confused notes, and Swingle has also entered some notes of his own. The ship's crew actually entered this cavern of cosmic cognition that Swingle mentioned. To open it, they needed a keystone, which they found. At that point, the records become a little muddled. It seems they learned a lot about themselves, but for some of them, it wasn't very nice. What they learned led them to break the keystone into four pieces. Captain Muffington, Regibald Cockburn, Lady Gobbledick, and the Marquis de Carnard, they each kept one piece. They concealed the route to the cave so that no one would ever enter it again. This sounds like a job for Larry Laffer. What happened to them? They all died under mysterious circumstances. Tell me about the captain. Muffington first settled on one of the islands, which to this day bears his name. But whatever he learned about himself in that cave, one night, he couldn't take it anymore. He tried to sail the unsatisfied out of the archipelago with a small crew, but huge waves smashed his ship against the rocks. One of them was the legendary Phallus Rock, which is still worshipped today as a symbol of fertility. So his part of the Keystone probably sank there with him. Probably. What happened to the Marquis? The Marquis couldn't cope with what he learned about himself in the cave. He threw himself into the Kalua volcano. Oops. Hmm. That means there's no trace of his keystone and it may have melted along with him. But you could go to the volcano and look for clues.
What happened to Lady Gobbledick? She mysteriously suffocated. Not much information is available about her, except that she lived with Cockburn. Here's another one of his diary entries. My beloved Lady Gobbledick's grave must never be found by anyone. The dark truth must never be revealed. Only I know the way to her grave. It begins on the entry ends there. It appears the second page is missing. I have to find that second page to get to Lady Gobbledick's grave and find out more about her keystone. What do you know about Cockburn? Reginald Cockburn started a family with Lady Gobbledick. Oh, that's interesting. His daughter later took the name Marley. Wait, that's Bobby's name too. I should ask her about that. So Cockburn lived happily ever after? He died of a broken hip from sex addiction. Just what I said. Oh, what a life! Were you listening to me? You're making it sound like sex addiction is a bad thing. I... whatever. Anyway, he was buried on Muffington Island. Probably with his keystone. Okay, so I have four keystones to find. And of course to locate the cavern of cosmic cognition itself. Is there any information in that file that points to where I can find it? A number of things point towards Gofuku Island. Swingle has even entered some coordinates where he believes the cave might be. But even if you find the cave and all four parts of the keystone, you still have a problem. I have to marry the mayor's daughter? No. You have to get Faith to go with you into that cave. You mean I have to trick the dangerous armed cannibal lesbians to get an audience with their queen who has amnesia and wants to roast me? Exactly. As good as done. And, Larry, I don't know if this is even a good idea. What those people learned about themselves in the cave back then, it drove some of them crazy. Who knows what could happen to Faith in that cave? Or to you. Cosmic knowledge, self-knowledge, Endless pleasures. That cave could be dangerous, too. We have no choice, Pi. Faith is confused and has memory loss. Maybe the cave will give her mind a nudge in the right direction. And if it somehow turns me into a sex crave pervert at the same time, then... Nothing will have changed. Hey! I was going to say, then I'll just have to live with it. Until you die of a broken hip or throw yourself into a volcano. This is starting to make my head hurt, Pi. Don't worry. I entered it all in your app. I'd better leave Swingle's toys here. He needs them more than I do. Is there an island around here with a particularly dangerous reef? If I tell you that, will you feel impelled to go there? Maybe. With your so-called raft? Then it's better I don't tell you or I'll have you on my conscience. Regibald Cockburn is your ancestor? That's true. How did you find out about that? He carries his brains in his pocket, sister. Yeah, he does. Regibald was not exactly the climax of my family tree. The stone downstairs in the lobby was his? Yeah. Larry, that must be one of the keystones. Is there anything else you can tell me about Regibald Cockburn? There hasn't been that much written or recorded about him. He was deeply in love with Lady Gobbledick and led an uneventful life. I once tried to promote his alleged motto as a slogan for Kahlua, but the resonance wasn't there, so I gave it up. What was it then? If it moves, you can screw it. Nice motto, but a bad slogan. Exactly. Can I have the stone from the lobby? It's really pretty. The only way I'd let it out of my hands is if I were to get another memento of Regibald Cockburn. Like maybe his legendary signet ring. It's supposed to have some truly extraordinary powers. 
Where can I find the Cavern of Cosmic Cognition? Nobody knows for sure. According to legend, somewhere on Gafuku Island. I used to drag tourists there to show them the remains of the advanced civilization, the Stone Heads. They weren't particularly impressed. That's why I don't bother anymore. But if there are traces of an advanced civilization there... I call it advanced civilization because that's all we have here. It looks to me like some people who couldn't tolerate the native mushrooms washed up here a long time ago and built strange things. And the Founding Fathers weren't here of their own free will either, but were shipwrecked here instead. Somehow a lot of people have ended up in this archipelago that way. There are still some of the guys who came here for the festival near the cave on Gafuku. I mean, why not? <laughs> as long as they don't break anything. But aren't tightwads usually tough? I'm not eating them myself. Well, you certainly made a meal out of me. Of course, I make sure not too many people disappear. Nobody here wants any news of that to get out. Nobody. I, I, I get it already. Did you know that there are female cannibals here? Of course. And that doesn't frighten you? Of course. I, I mean, I make sure that they don't abduct any guests who are particularly well off. But say, if someone is clearly way behind on their payments. From a purely commercial stamp. That's what I said. Of course, I make sure nobody, nobody. I, I. Is the volcano still active? It's actually quite active. That's why nobody goes there. Of course, there are always a few crazy adventurers who see that as a tough challenge. But then, that's the lava's problem, not mine. I'm leaving now, but then maybe another woman will want to have sex with me. If she doesn't have anything better to do. I always wanted to have an inflatable crocodile in my pants. Then I'll just grab this energy drink. There's nothing left in there. Shawnee! How's the big packing going? It's pretty hard when there aren't many people around. Because they don't give you enough money? Sort of. Even the guy in the lobby won't give me any of his tips. That could be because he works for them. He just stands around all the time, not working. Besides, he probably is just using them for drugs. True enough, I guess. Do you have any tips on how I can big pack too? Oh, you're doing all right with that raggedy outfit of yours. I beg your pardon? This is a wedding suit. Your expression's good, too. Just a little confused, hungry, and pleading. Hey, I always look like this. Then you should be able to manage a trip around the world. Who are these people who give you money? They're from all different walks of life. I just have to build an emotional connection to them so that they understand my spiritual journey. Some people have real problems with that. They're just not in touch with themselves. Or they're stingy. Or that. I came to this archipelago to thank one of my benefactors personally. He founded this new, totally hip cryptocurrency and opened a new headquarters with his employees here on an island. Cryptocurrency? I'm sure you've heard of it. Clitcoin? Don't ask me exactly how that works. I haven't been able to use it to pay for anything yet, but it's good to have a reserve in your wallet. Wallet? Anyway, they're headquartered on an island that's completely inaccessible. An island completely surrounded by reefs. A lot of ships have gone down there. Some of them are really old. They must have been wrecked centuries ago. Larry, according to Sir Muffington's log, his ship, the Unsatisfied, sank off a storm-tossed island here. We should take a closer look at that island. You're right about that. But Shawnee, why did they open their headquarters in a place like this? For security reasons, they said. It's private there. It's unregulated offshore waters and all that.
What can you tell me about the island with the dangerous reefs and the waves? Like, for example, its name? No idea. But the coordinates of the island are minus 20 and 3. And your ship will have to be especially well equipped to prevent it from being wrecked, too. All I have is a raft. Then even more so. You should put bumpers on both ends of your raft, otherwise the waves will toss you around and smash you against the rocks. That would be a bad thing. Wanna go with me? No, I'll let fate decide. When the stars are right, the perfect wave will carry me there. If that works... I float through life like a feather on the wind. See you later. Yet, go. Okay, folks, it's time for a laugh. Thank you. You're a wonderful audience. Just too bad you're not here. Except for you, in the back. What's your name? Larry. Larry Laffer? You sure look like it, too. It's one dynamite joke after another today. Today's the premiere of my new stage show, featuring exclusive new material never before heard on any stage in the world. Wow! An orc, a troll, and a Mandalorian walk into a bar. The Mandalorian says, I roll a one. seven. The orc drops dead in its Already tracks. Already have one. Says the Mandalorian, hey! I didn't shoot first. Ah, uh, okay. I'll that take one. one's kind of so so. I already have. Hey, I'm trying to work here. What do you want? I find your jokes. Yes. Very bad taste. Thanks. I'm glad someone else appreciates it. Most people just start throwing things as soon as I say something about their height or that they're so ugly. Wait a minute. Did you make a joke about me being ugly? Sorry. You're probably still in the other room. Your jokes are kind of... odd. I made them all up myself. You did? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes I take advice from my team. You have a team? Stop the interrogation already. Yeah, I take what I can get. Actually, I copy it all from a joke book. And I don't even have that anymore. I lost it. I had it with me at that crazy festival. Maybe somebody there switched it. Instead, now I got this book about role-playing games. But they're kind of strange. I mean, who wouldn't want to dress up as a sexy nurse or something in a role-playing game, but a mage? A healer? Or a dwarf? Well, I guess I'll just have to make the best of it. Can I have this book on role-playing games? The only thing I'd swap it for would be a decent joke book. Preferably the one I know. If you can get me that, you can have this Dungeon Master crap. Do you ever get too old to be a comedian? <sighs> Honestly, I've been asking myself that for a while now. This rock star life in the spotlight, it's pretty exhausting. Show off. Twat waffle. Well, I'll let you get back to clowning around. Hey, comedy is a serious business. That looks good hanging right. Hey! What's up? Do you have any idea what happened to all that junk I collected? Junk? What junk? 
the junk that was hanging on that hook. The raft-shaped junk? The junk-shaped junk. I, uh, recycled it for you. Isn't that great? Anything for the planet. <sighs> so how's that bird doing now? I had to scrub it for hours to get the oil out of his feathers. But I did it. Great news! I set him free in the jungle, even in a spot where there was a female close by. But as soon as he saw it, he panicked and ran in the opposite direction. That's weird. What a strange bird. See you later. It's all ready. Hi. I know Muffington's one of the founding fathers, but why did they name the island after him? I think it was the only island that didn't have a name. Well, that's something. What else is here? The Founding Fathers spent a lot of time here, and Ridgibald Cockburn is said to be buried here. Maybe you can find some trace of him. And I need to find a way to talk to Faith. She and the other cannibals will have to trust me. Is there anything else you can tell me about Muffington Island from the file? The island is also considered to be haunted. It's said to be haunted by some scary Sister Superior. Oh, that sounds exciting. Maybe I can find her. Speaking of scary... That guy back there does look kind of menacing. That's too far away. That's too far away. Larry, Swingle had also collected some interesting information about this island. I have to admit, I am curious. Gofuku Island holds traces of a lost civilization. Swingle suspected that this cavern of cosmic cognition is located here somewhere. Good to know. However, this is also the island with all the death traps left behind by an ancient civilization. Oh! Maybe you can even eat it. And maybe you'll start to glow from within. I wouldn't mind. That's not the kind of bush I like. That huge rock has... I can see something through the hole. I can see something through the hole. We can't get away from here. I know. I feel the same way you do, in case you haven't noticed. But we can't just play LARP anyway. And how are we supposed to do that without a Game Master? We just make it up ourselves? Have you ever made anything up yourself? Uh... No. But being a Game Master can't be that hard. 
You also said making a computer game wasn't hard. Hey, and nobody told me you need an engine for that. And it was the publisher's fault anyway. We didn't have one. But they would have screwed everything up if we had found one. Whatever. We need a Game Master. And Game Masters don't just fall from the heavens. Besides, can't even enter the ruins. We could play right here. No, there's not enough atmosphere. You know what? I've had enough. Yeah, we're out of here. Hey, what are you two doing here? Are you selling pie phones in the jungle now? And do they make you wear those clothes? Oh, damn, Finley. It's that weirdo from New Lost Wages. Don't move, Kyle. Maybe he won't notice us. I'm already talking to you. Damn, it didn't work. What are you doing here on the island? We came here for the Galactic Festival. It was supposed to be a one-of-a-kind event. Galactic creatures, lots of action and music. They promised that nothing would be impossible. And women. <laughs> yeah, loads of stars were supposed to be here. They weren't. Total flop. No stars. We almost drowned. And then there was the storm. All a total waste. But we found a few like-minded people here and we thought, huh, let's do a LARP. I know my way around LARPs. Well, of course. It's pretty obvious that you're doing one of your own about that old dance film. Have you seen a book of bad jokes around here anywhere? Joe, we took one of those from the festival. Our role-playing book went missing there. It sucks. Can I have it? Sure. We threw it away. Threw it away where? Somewhere out there, outside the cave. Okay. How does that LARP thing of yours work? We experience the wildest adventures in a world of fantasy. Each of us slips into a role, and the Game Master tells us what we experience. That's it? It's harder than it sounds. A Game Master has to know exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, it gets really boring. How come there aren't any women in your bar? They're just not interested in that sort of thing. None of them wanted us to save them. Oh, we would have chained them up so nicely. They wouldn't even have had to say anything. Just sit there and look pretty. Like that was too much to ask. Now, we have to leave it all to our imaginations. Oh, I had to handle it that way myself when I was young. <laughs> I'm 29. Hey, I can be your game master. Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. Well, let us know when you find it. I have to get going. Candles always come in handy. Especially good with milk. How useful. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. Now it looks like all the discs are in place.
the socket secure now. The light shines here on this exact spot on the pedestal. Maybe those guys threw the joke book in here. That must be Lewis's joke book. see something through the hole. Nothing happened. see something through the hole. I can see something through the hole.
I can see something through the hole. I can see something through the hole. Worked. The entrance to the ruins is now open. <laughs> 